Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of multiplying decimals. This is standard 5.3e in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 21 of the 2023 released start test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we've got a brownie recipe. It calls 1.5 cups of sugar for every batch, and she makes 3.5 batches. All right, well, we could try to draw a picture here, uh, but it's going to get a little bit messy here. So every batch needs 1.5 cups of sugar, right? So let's say that's a batch. I'll just put batches right here. And so that's my first batch. It needs 1.5 cups of sugar. And then I've got another batch here. And it needs another 1.5 cups of sugar. Here's another batch here. 1.5 cups of sugar. So that gives me three batches, but I need 3.5. Now I do know, right, that 0.5 is the same as half. Right, that's five tenths. Five tenths simplifies to one half. So I'm going to you know, draw, I'm going to try to draw a little skinny half one right there. But I can't say that's 1.5, right? I need to think what is half of 1.5. So if I take, uh, you know, a decimal here, and let's see if I can kind of shade it in, take half of it, right? So that is going to be. That's 1.5, or 1 and 5 tenths. That's 1 and 2 fourths, actually, but that all simplifies the same thing. Well, if you see 1 and a half here, right, there's 6 total. 1 and a half equals 6 fourths. So half of that is going to be 3 fourths, right? So I can say 3 fourths, which is equal to 0 0.75, because that's 75 cents, 3 quarters. All right, so one way to do it would be to figure out what is half of that 1.5 there's multiple ways to do it you know you could divide right you could have obviously done you know 2 into 1.5 right you would have gotten the same thing right 0 0.75 either way you look at it now i've got an answer right i've got 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 and then i need to get my 0 0.75 so that's going to be 5, 5, 10, 15, 22, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, so I'm looking at 5.25. So, I mean, I've got that answer right here. Is there an easier way? Yes. In fifth grade, we work on decimal multiplication. Let me show you a much easier way, but I wanted to show you the long way just in case you're still uncomfortable with multiplication. All right, so when we're looking at every batch, uh, this every batch, or sometimes they might say each. Either one of these lets you know we're dealing with equal groups. So that's going to be multiplication or division when we're dealing with equal groups or a constant rate. And so in this case, we're going to multiply, right? So I've got 1.5 for every batch. There's 3.5 batches. Let's just see, right? 3.5 groups of 1.5. We need to multiply. Now, when we multiply decimals, we don't necessarily line up the decimals. We do when we add or subtract. We don't care about that when multiplying. It just happened to multiply uh, and line up with decimals, but that's not the most important thing. So 5 times 5 is 25. We're just ignoring the decimals at this point, pretending it's 15 times 35. 5 times 1 is 5. Add that to, right, there's your 75. Second row, 5 times 3 is 15. 3 times 1 is 3. Add that 1 is 4. Right, so what we're going to get is 525. And if we lined up the decimals, right, it would go right there, which we know is incorrect. Here's what we do. We have to count how many digits are behind the decimals and the factors. I've got one digit here. I've got one digit here. So that's a total of two digits behind the decimals in my factors, which means I need a total of two digits behind the decimal in my product. So if you want to multiply, this is a probably an easier quicker way to do it if you want to draw a picture and add it up that also works our answer is c